Welcome to another edition of the discussion with the Miss Notes organization. Once again, I am your host, Hernald. Today, we will be piggyback, we'll, we'll piggyback on our discussion last week. I'm trying to ignite something um, for, for all, inside of all of our viewers. So today, we're going to piggyback a little bit. If you did, if you miss out the last discussion, you can um, search. Um, we'll put a link somewhere or it'll appear here somewhere where you can watch the last discussion that we had. So, you know, before anything, if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, and of course, share this. Once you, before you even finish watching the video, share this with at least three to five friends. I promise you this will be a blessing. Now, last week we discussed a little bit, you know, about on the topic of doing more. You know, this is the year of 2020 and we are in January, just a, um, now a few weeks into January. Now, you know, a lot of people have, you know, New Year's resolutions, a lot of people have plans coming into the year, but st statistic has found that, you know, once the year get going, by the half, by the middle of the year, all those plans are thrown out the window and everybody's back to whatever they were doing. So we do not want that. This is a year where you are going to accomplish the most you've ever accomplished. So today I wanna to follow up with a discussion that asks you, do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are, who you are? Now, I wanted to read a verse um, before we start. It is in Romans 8. Verse 19, um, I'm going to be reading the NIV. It says, for the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. Now, um, another, the living, uh, the New Living Translation says, for all creation is waiting eagerly for that future day where God will reveal who his children really uh, are. So in this text, it is talking about the creation. Creation uh, uh, awaits, awaits the revealing of the children of God. What do we mean by creation? What do we mean by creation? We mean the trees, the birds, uh, everything that is planet Earth awaits the reveal of the children of God. Now, what, what does that mean? You know, the children of God. Why is the why is creation awaiting the revealing of the children of God? Now, you can say like once you give your life to Christ, you know you are a child of God. You are, um, and then of course, uh, it takes a process in becoming a son of God. But why does it says creation awaits? That is because a lot of us we never tapped into our true potential. So again, I'm coming with the. A similar message is last week. Uh, who do you know who you truly are? What you are capable of doing? There's a lot of things that we are capable of doing that we are not doing. There's a lot of things spiritually, spiritually that you're able to do that a lot of us we go, we live our life without ever being able, without ever tapping into those true potentials. Like I stated before, you know, a lot of us, we, like the Bible talks about the flesh. The Bible talks about the flesh. The flesh is your body. Your, the flesh, the carnal man, is what your capabilities and what you're able to do. But with the spirit, nothing is impossible. That is why the verse says, nothing is impossible with God. The verse didn't say that um, when you give your life to God, nothing is impossible. Um, when the, what the verse means, nothing is impossible for God, is, is talking about when you tap into your spirit, what the capability of your, what your spirit is able to do, there is no limit for you. There's no limit when it comes to um, time. There's no limit when it comes to um, location. There's no limit when it comes to nothing. You know, a lot of us in the flesh, we're very limited. We're limited to how many places we can be at one time. We're limited to, um, you know, what we can do. We're limited to the time. We're limited to, you know, our body, um, the capabilities of our body. You know, there's a certain amount of time the body cannot live without eating. There's a lot, 
We have a lot of limitations when it comes to the body. So when the Bible in that verse in Romans, when they talk about that creations await, eagerly await the revealing of the sons of God, it is talking about the manifestation, the manifestation of the spirit, the manifestation of the spirit. You know, our body, the flesh, you know, it can get sick, it can get sick. You know, and through, you know, a lot of times through uh, modest medicine, taking pills or going to the doctor or the hospital, you know, we can get healed. But, but there's no limitation when it comes to the healing, when it comes to the spirit. You don't need a doctor to operate or to cut. You don't need to take a certain pill or to be on certain medications for years to be healed of something. Without, there's no limitation in the spirit. That is what the Bible is talking about when creation awaits. Uh, it, uh, it is awaiting for us to wake up and to start moving supernaturally. Supernaturally. We need to stop, stop thinking of the limits of the flesh, of the body. We need to start tapping into the spirit. And that's why today's discussion is, do you really know who you are? A lot of us are quick to say, yes, they know who they are. But I will tell you, if you, discuss, if you have a discussion with a lot of people, you'll come to find out they do not even know what spiritually they're, what they are capable of doing. Spiritually, there are people that are capable of, you know, that needs answers. There's been, there's been documents, like I think I stated in the last video, there's been people, you know, who needed to solve an equation and they went to sleep and in their dreams, they receive the answers. You know, there's been people, you know, that has dreams of, pe of like what people are plotting against them. This is what I'm talking about. You need to tap in. And if you are someone that's not living the supernatural life, if you're someone that is not tapping in, you're not moving beyond your flesh and your human capabilities, then that means you are not the, the true manifestation, the revealing of the sons of God. You, are, you have not tapped in, into that yet. You know, you need to tap into the supernatural because the sons of God are tapped in to the supernatural. There's children of God and then there's sons of God. Sons of God, you know, is a true adulthood in Christ. So when you reach true adulthood in Christ, that is when you're tapped into the spirit. You are not bound. And this is not just for anyone. Like I state, like I stated before, this is not just for anyone. Not anyone can just say, okay, I'm a child of God, I'm a son of God. God, let me levitate. God, let me start healing. God, let me go into the ocean and pull, pull like um, gold out of a fish mouth. Let me multiply um, the, the loaf of bread and fish. Let me do this, let me do this. No, 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 no. The manifestation, the revealing of the sons of God are for those who are hungry. That's why the Bible says those who, who are thirsty, those who thirst, you have to have a thirst, you have to have a, some a eagerness, you have to be eager to tap into that realm, to tap into that realm. A lot of us, we try to do things on our own, based on what, you know, um, society tell us. Oh, you cannot learn this much. Oh, you know, after this age, you can't learn this language. After this age, you can't get this degree. Oh, you know, you have to be from this background and do this and this and that to be able to do that. There is no, all that is good, but that's for the flesh. As for a son of God, you have no limitation when you are operating in the spirit. What will take the man 10 years to learn? Ish, you, it could take a few days. What will take an average human being years and years and years to accomplish, you can do it within just a few hours. I am telling you, I am telling you that you are capable of doing so much more than you thought you can. Losing weight should be nothing to you. Losing weight should be nothing. A lot of people struggle to maintain their health. I'm telling you, that is because you've been, you've been looking at everything you're doing from a carnal perspective, from, from, a pers from an earthly perspective. Now, from a worldly perspective, you need to tap into that spirit. It is you tapping into the spirit. It is you moving in the spirit that will allow you to conquer things beyond the human limitations. You want to tap into that realm. 
if you want to do anything great for God, you want to tap into the realm where you are doing supernatural things. You know, it is not, you know, with, with, with the flesh, there's a lot of things we can do with the flesh, you know? Um, but in this time, in this age, if you want to make an impact in this world, if you want to do anything great, uh, whether it's not whether for your family, whether for the world, whoever you're trying to do it for, you must be tapped into the spirit. This in this world, this time is time is moving so fast. Time is moving so fast that you must be able to move on a supernatural pace. If you are, man, if you are depending on your flesh, if you're depending on yourself to, you know, um, break the spirit of poverty, make the most you ever made. Man, I'm telling you, it will take years. Have anyone ever looked into how long it takes? You know, if you're saving, let's just say a few hundred dollars, how long that, that takes to be a millionaire? You know, you look at these um, interest rates that these banks are offering, close to 0.001%. You know, even if you have $10,000 in the bank, it would take years, years, years for you to even reach 100,000. So come on, you need the supernatural move of God to give you revelation, to be able to tap into the spirit, to get, to get download information of supernatural things, whether it's ideas, whether it's business, um, whatever it is, whatever you're looking for, same thing. When it comes to relationships, you know, a lot of people, they've, you, they've been trying on their own. They've been dating. They tried to date apps. They tried uh, friends putting them together, all that good stuff. But I'll tell you, with the supernatural, with the supernatural of God, with the supernatural, you can, you can fast and pray and tap into the spirit. And when someone comes into your life, you know exactly, exactly their motive. But you cannot do that. Your flesh can be tricked. Your flesh can be tricked. That's why so much people, you know, they fall in love. They're in love. And then all of a sudden, you know, two months later, what happened to that fella? What happened to that girl that you was in love with? And she's no longer there. He's no longer there. Why? Because you did not take the time to tap into the spirit to find out what was that person's true motive, true intention in your life in this period of time. I tell you, you need the supernatural move of God. I encourage everyone that is listening, that is listening to this today, to tap in. Because you can do way more than you're doing. Do you know who you are and what you're capable of doing? Do not let the world bamboozle you. Do not let the world limit you. There's no limitation for God. Do not let the world put you in a box. Uh, it's good to get a degree, but do not let the, the, those classes uh, that put you in a box and let you think the world is just this. Uh, the world is not just what you see. Uh, the world is greater than what you see. The world is greater than you. So I'm telling you right now, tap in. Tap into that spirit to find out, uh, read your word fast and find out who you are. Do you know who you are and what you're capable of? You're capable of more than you could ever believe. You're capable of achieving that wild, the, your wildest dream. You're capable of doing the impossible. You just have to believe. Faith without works is dead. Believe and begin to put actions behind it. Speak it into existence that you can do it. Even when they say you can't, believe you can do it. Believe you can do it. But you must know who you are. You are not limited to space. You're not limited to time. You are not limited to your own intelligence. You are not limited once you tap into that spirit. And that's what my the discussion is today. Do you know who you are? Find out who you are. I've given you a few uh, um, things, but there's more to who you are. You are an ambassador of God. An ambassador of God. So down in the comments, I want you, I want you right now to comment one of your wildest dreams, one of your wildest goals. Comment down. Comment that down in the comments below and we'll go over them. Because you can achieve whatever you put your mind to. But first you must know who you are and you have no limitation in God. Right now, subscribe if you haven't, like, comment, and also share this video with at least three to five people right now 
as do that. And I want to hear about the supernatural things that you guys have done, especially tapping into the spirit. And we will see you at the Miss Knows organization with another discussion. We out.